So, I've officially been on YouTube for a whole year. What is up guys? It's Alexia. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually super exciting because I realized the other day that I've been on YouTube for a whole year now or almost a year. This video is going to be uploaded on April 7th and if you guys look back to my very first video it was uploaded on April 8th of 2020 which wow that's crazy to think that I've come such a long way. So if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified every time I upload a new video because I have plenty of content about nutrition, fitness, self-care, academics. If any of that stuff sounds interesting to you make sure to hit that subscribe button. So this video is going to be a little bit weird. I'm kind of going to recap the past year of my life and talk about some things that went on, some accomplishments that I have, some things that I'm proud of, and kind of talk about my journey on YouTube a little bit because when I first started this channel, I really had no idea what I was doing. You can clearly tell by looking back at my first video. I didn't even look directly at the camera, which was honestly really funny looking back on it. I like to watch the video sometimes and be like, wow, I've really come a long way. But yeah, I mean, right now I feel so comfortable talking in front of a camera and I think that is a huge thing that's going to help me in my future as I am going to college to study broadcast journalism and political science, but more for the journalism part, this is definitely going to be super helpful. But in this video, I kind of want to go through a few things that happened this past year and talk about how it's changed me as a person and how I've grown from all my experiences. Taking everything back to rewind, about a year ago was when the coronavirus pandemic really started to ramp up and I live in New York and we went through a serious lockdown so we had no school in person and basically everything was closed for me one of the biggest things besides school being closed was the gym being closed because going to the gym was literally my life I would go for at least a few hours every day I was working out I was doing all different kinds of classes I was super fit and to have such a big part of my life be shut down all at once was really difficult for me at first because I had to get used to being active at home so a few of the things that I did to help stay active were the first one was that I started going on walks and I actually kept that up now even though the gyms are back open again and I walk around four to five miles every day and I really enjoy it because it gives me a chance to get some sunlight, vitamin D, but also to get a breath of fresh air and to really go outside and enjoy the nature, which is really important to me. And I did do the Chloe Tang two week shred challenge. If you guys saw my video, I'll leave it linked up here, you know. I thought that was pretty cool. And I think that for people that don't have any equipment or that are at home, it's a great way to stay active and to stay motivated because it is on a workout plan. With all of life being on lockdown, I obviously had a lot more free time than I had previously had. If any of you guys know me in real life, you guys know that I'm an incredibly busy person. It was actually one of my top nominated superlatives for the senior class, but having a lot of free time actually gave me a chance to step back and focus on what was really important to me. So to me, those few things were living healthy, spending time with friends and family, and just really connecting with those around me and connecting with myself as well. And I felt that all this time I had to myself, I was trying to find something that I was passionate about that I could work on which is actually what led me to starting this YouTube channel because if you guys have been following me on Instagram which the username is at live like Lex right up here it used to be called get fit with Alexia and I started this account when I was 14 and it was a really big part of my life I really enjoyed documenting my fitness journey and sharing it with everyone and to be able to take that onto another platform and really expand my content meant so much to me. And to have the time to learn how to edit videos, learn how to film videos, learn how to do all the technical behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't see before I upload these videos was really, really valuable to me. And I'm really looking forward to taking that experience with me to college and then doing more with it in my journalism career. So once I started this YouTube channel, I was telling some of my family members in Japan about it and they actually suggested that I start a second channel in Japanese. So of course, me being the overachiever that I am I went for it and I actually started a second YouTube channel which I'll leave it linked in the description box down below however all the videos are in Japanese so I don't know if you guys will be able to understand them but if you guys want to hear me speak in Japanese definitely be sure to check that channel out it was definitely a lot to balance both channels at the start but as I was in the middle of lockdown and quarantine I had a lot of time on my hands so I was working on both videos getting things out more recently as school has picked up and also I got my job back I've had some trouble keeping up with my content Content, but for me it's just a hobby and I do it for fun so I try and hop on as often as I can and post content whenever I have the time to do so. 
So student government is a huge part of my life as I've always been very involved in politics and making a change. So I did win the election to be the student body president of my high school, which I am right now. So that's been a super exciting time for me. I wish that it hadn't been a COVID year because the student body president is in charge of organizing the big school events such as pep rally and battle of the classes. But due to COVID, unfortunately, we can't really hold these events, but it's still such an honor to hold a position and to have the role of really being the voice for the students in my school district. Staying on the topic of politics, over this summer, I actually helped to lead a government internship for our local legislator. It was an internship of over 120 high school and college students. And we had the opportunity to hear from an amazing panel of guests speakers. We heard from the police commissioner, the county executive, restaurant owners, businessmen, basically all different types of people to really get a wide view of the world and how society is today. And I thought that was very insightful and good information to have as a young student. Also, kids in the internship had the chance to write legislation. My group worked on legislation for mental health specifically, and we wanted to increase mental health awareness and kind of decrease the stigma in our area so it was really cool to actually see existing legislation and then try our best to mimic that and create a bill proposal so that was really valuable experience to have as a student and for me to be able to lead such a program was such an honor and it gets me excited for the political science aspect, which I will also be studying in college. So as I stand here and mention college a lot, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering where I'm going. One of the best things that happened to me this year was definitely getting into my dream college. So I did go through the whole college application process, which indeed was stressful. So I do have videos coming up because I know some of you guys watching might be juniors right now and you guys are getting nervous for the process. So don't worry, I got you guys covered. I'll make some videos, but I did get into my dream school. I applied early decision and I did get in. So yeah, starting this fall, I will be a wildcat at Northwestern University and I'm going to double major in broadcast journalism and political science. For now, we'll see what happens, but for now. Some of the biggest videos on my channel actually have to do with driving, which is really funny, but I bought my own car, which here she is, she's beautiful. Um, if you guys want me to make a video about how I worked my way towards buying a car, I can definitely make one for you guys. I did buy my car used. I did so much research before I bought it to make sure that I got the best deal possible and to make sure that my car was in the best condition possible. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you're interested in a video like that. But I also did pass my road test, which is why I made a road test video. So yeah, driving has been going good for me. And for me, having my own car gives me a ton of freedom, which has really helped my social life and that's how I get to school, you know. So driving is definitely a huge part of my life. So if you aren't a driver yet, make sure to check out some of my driving videos. I have a playlist called Learn to Drive. Click up here if you wanna watch that, but a bunch of videos about driving, so make sure to check that out. A more exciting thing that I did recently was I actually started lifting really heavy in the gym. So prior to COVID, I had always taken strength training classes, but those are all based around dumbbells and really the heaviest dumbbell in the room was 20 pounds. So the heaviest like combined weight I was lifting was maybe 40 pounds, which was good for me at the time. You know, I was feeling very strong and I was looking very strong too. But with COVID and kind of the classes getting canceled or getting moved around, I actually decided to take more initiative myself, go upstairs and start lifting heavier. And I, you know, I'm on the squat rack, squatting, I'm deadlifting, hip thrusting, like, you know the vibes. But it was so incredible to me to see how much I was actually capable of and how much I could lift. Make sure to check me out on TikTok as well, at Live Like Lex, the same as my Instagram, but I did post a video about lifting. I might make another separate video about what it was like lifting and my whole process for that because I did do a five month bulk in which I was eating high calories, high protein to try and build as much muscle. And my results came in the other day and I gained over like seven pounds of muscle, which is crazy. So that was really fun. Last but not least, another thing that I started doing recently was I started reading again, which I know I, most of you guys would assume that I read because people are like, oh, Alexi, like you're so smart. You probably read all the time. Mm, I actually like, don't really love to read that much, which is like shocker, but I decided to start reading again because I kept watching those videos that were like, oh, all the successful people read books. And I was like, well, I want to be successful. So like, now I'm reading books. Eh. So um, I'm going to start a series. I actually filmed my first video that is like book reviews of the books that I've been reading. So if you guys wanna read them also, definitely check them out. It'll be up, don't worry, I promise, it'll be up. Right now I'm reading a book about finance. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Fantastic book, I cannot wait to make the video about that one. So yeah, I mean, this video is getting very, very long, but I 
hope that you guys had a great past year as well. I know that with COVID and people not getting to go to school, people losing jobs, people maybe even losing friends or family members, it's been hard, you know? And if you made it through and if you're watching this video, I want you to know that you're so strong for getting through everything. This year has been so tough, but you are still here and that is amazing. And I hope that you had some good things happen in your life as well. If anything good did happen, please share it with me in the comments. I would love to celebrate with you or to hear about how you're doing. But yeah, sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm kind of filled with emotions right now as we film this. But if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below and I want to get back to you. Or if you want me to further elaborate and make another video, I could do that as well. But yeah, I wanted to share some things with you guys that have been going on and just like let you guys know what's up. But yeah, this past year has been so crazy, but I'm so happy to have been able to document some of it on my YouTube channel. And I do hope to continue this channel throughout college as well. So thank you guys so much for supporting me and for being a subscriber. And if you're not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Help a girl out. Because I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers as soon as possible, which will be exciting because then I can monetize this channel and then earn a little side income, you know. But yes, all right, so thank you so much for watching this video. As usual, make sure to follow me on all my social media accounts, which I will leave linked right up here. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Bye.